Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Phyllis. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I will be recreating my own version of the chandeliers that I'm showing you here using items that I purchased from Amazon and an old drum shade that my daughter had. I'm doing this for my daughter here in Florida. I'm showing you this one because I will be mounting it to the ceiling. I purchased these glass crystal garland from Amazon. The mesh, I don't think I'll be using. And um, this tape is used to hold the push lights that'll be up in the ceiling. These are the drum shades. They were both this color of the brown and this I painted when I changed my daughter's dining room into my granddaughter's playroom, but now it's no longer a playroom. So I'll be using both of these. And here is a crystal garland that I purchased from Amazon. And there are 10 bags in the two um, large bags, which I'm counting here. And in each single bag is the long strand that I just showed you. So again, there's two bags and 10 bags in each large bag. And it's one of these long 33 foot crystal glass garlands in each bag. From each crystal garland, I was able to cut three strands and on each strand is 15 beads. So here you see me cutting the shade. I am going to keep the brown a material and material is not really the material but it's very very hard um, I'm cutting it off and the only part that I'm going to be using from each of the shades is the larger ring here that doesn't look like the wheel the other part the wheel I am going to be using that to make two more um, crystal chandeliers to put up in my daughter's living room in her ceiling because when she saw the finished result, she loved it and she wished it was bigger. But because it wasn't, I thought about just adding two more chandeliers in her living room. Now here I've already, now this three garlands is actually one strand. Plus there was like two crystals left over. So I will be, um, this took almost all day. So if you decide to do this, you will have to have some patience. Watch television or something or have music on to kind of detract your mind about how long this is taking. But I was just showing you, I'm counting down to 15 and then removing the rest that's left over. And I attach the string crystal garland to the rim of the piece that was on the shade using the jump ring that I showed you earlier. And I love the way this came out. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and please consider subscribing. And if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up and I would love to read your comments. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And for my faithful subscribers, thank you so much for stopping by. Now, what I just shared with you, I three strands again came from one garland. And here I'm pointing out, this is just a sideboard. This grid wall video will be uploaded on Friday. I started this back in October and I didn't have enough boards of what you're seeing here to finish her wall. I now have finished her wall and then putting up this chandelier shade. But if you're interested in seeing this, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get the notification of the wall. Now back to her chandelier. So I've completed it or I put it on this um, ladder just so that I can complete it. And it turned out so nice and here it comes she loves it and it is it gives such a beautiful ambience when the light is on here I pushed on the lights these again are battery operated push lights that I got from Amazon and it's a total of six in this one pack you get um, three remotes and these six push lights and each push lights is operate operated by triple um, a batteries you put three in one three batteries in one and here it is I'm just showing you and there's the, the lights that I purchased from Amazon I will link all of the items that I used in the description box below also you'll see that I, I in my videos I try to put a screenshot of everything that I purchased to if I forget to link it in the description box but the arrangement of the lights here I didn't care about it so I took them down and put them in a circle and you'll see that further down towards the end of the video but she loved the way they came out and I absolutely love it as well. So again, I'm going to be creating two more of these um, chandeliers for her. And the way I mounted it, I used cable pins because the cable pins, and I'll put a screenshot of it, has the little hook that the ring can sit in and then you screw 
or nail I put screws because the nails will not stay in the ceiling I put screws and that pushes the ring up to the ceiling to make it a flush mount um, lighting and it is more secured than using a nail so again here you'll see the lights the way they're arranged I didn't care about that look because when you turn it on of course you'll see it well coming up now you'll see where I have taken them off and again I've if I hadn't said it the lights are being held up by the, the tape that I shared and it's very 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 strong tape and then the lights are very lightweight so there's no weight to them for them to fall down but I love the way they turned out so well being the extra person that I am I just can't stop at anything so I have to take it even further looking at all this space up under here I said okay I think I'm going to make this a double layered chandelier well I took another old shade that she had that was smaller and I inserted it after putting some glass beads around it so here is one of the shades I had too so I've already suspended the other one um, directly up under the first chandelier shade that I made again I took the material off of this and I'm getting ready to show you now I mounted it to the ceiling from the metal ring and I used cable pins just like it did for the other one and here it is the rest of the garland beads that I had left I put them on the smaller ring and basically these chandelier beads are hanging just a little bit longer from under the the bigger chandelier shade I'm going to insert a picture that I found on um, Pinterest or Amazon and here it is it is so beautiful I love it I'm going to also purchase um, the balls they have the crystal balls and I found them where I can get nine of them for like ten dollars or ten of them from ten dollars And I'm gonna hang one right from the middle to just hang a little longer than that second row And I'm gonna get some more crystal beads to kind of fill out the middle one uh, Just a little more, but I just love the way this came out So if you all enjoyed watching me put this crystal bead chandelier shade together Then please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so please subscribe like comment and share this with your friends and family and i want to thank you all for stopping by so much for watching JRC restoration decor and designs and remember the distance between your dreams and reality is called action so until next time make it a blessed and productive day everyone <music>